about doing push-ups and calisthenic work. We talked about leg work, uh, how you can work out your legs without any equipment. We, we talked about squats, lunges, jump lunges, jump squats, jogging on the spot for your cardio, jumping jacks, jump rope. Uh, all of these are great ways to, you know, to exercise at home without a lot of equipment. For those of you who have some equipment, all right. Uh, obviously, it's it's a lot more difficult to work out, you know, certain parts of your body without that equipment. All right. Uh, so if you wanted to do bicep curls and you had absolutely nothing to lift, how would you do it? Exactly. If you wanted to do some really intense shoulder presses, you you probably could uh, with, you, you know, if you're a handstand push up or something. If you're if your fitness level is up to there, but we're talking about for people who are not capable of doing such things. Or how would you work out your shoulders? Okay, so it would probably be to your best interest to invest in in some some small part of you know workout or fitness equipment. Right here, I have bands. Okay, rubber bands are great for many exercises. Rubber bands come in different uh, tensions or weight. Uh, you might want to look into a weight that's good for you, all right, or something with enough tension that's comfortable for you. So for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, inhale, exhale, ten, and so on. 11 and 12. 12 shoulder presses. Okay, so that's what they look like. All right, and you go sideways, do another set, and move sideways. Okay, so on here, nice straight back, looking straight ahead. All right, I inhale, I exhale on press for one, two, three. Or straight up. Notice the extension of my elbows and the angle of my arms. Notice how I'm holding the band and so on. Okay, so this is a shoulder fly. All right, we're working the medial delts all right, with the rubber bands. Seated shoulder flies with rubber bands. Okay. Inhale, exhale, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we want to do our biceps. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my chair, grab my band, make sure I'm nice and anchored. All right, now I'm going to do bicep curls with this band. Okay, so that's what a bicep curl would look like. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, but what's cool about the reverse grip is uh, your forearm gets a little pretty nice exercise as well, you know? And uh, you can just uh, sort of indirectly or directly strengthen your forearm as you do this exercise as well. All right, notice the wrist. I don't ever bend my wrist. I don't ever bend my wrist. I always maintain a neutral wrist. Again. Look at my body. I'm not laying down, all right? But I'm also not sitting up. Uh, now, we perform the exercise. One we'll hand up, or we'll do way we do. Inhale, exhale. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay. Now the good core workout on the chair. One, two, three, four, 
Why? Because I'm targeting upper back. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, see that? Okay, so I worked out my upper back. I worked out my bicep, my arms. I worked out my chest in two ways, chest flies and incline chest presses.